the Court of Appeal has had to tell them English language school boards have the right to preserve the English language. It's, uh, you know, it's clear cut, it's in the Constitution. They've got to get with the times. The English Montreal School Board with wins after two Court of Appeal rulings related to Bill 96, Quebec's French language law. The first ruling rejected a challenge by the CAQ government to a Quebec Superior Court decision that provided the EMSB with a partial stay of provisions of Bill 96 in April that would have required English school boards in Quebec to communicate exclusively in French when interacting with other English-speaking community organizations while this legislation is being challenged in court. The government, of course, was wrong-headed in deciding to appeal, so this decision makes it very clear that English language school boards are an English institution and they have the right Right to uh, work and communicate in English. I think it's important. I think it's necessary. Uh, and it's necessary in terms of like injunctions, which I seem to know a little bit about injunctive provisions. It's necessary to have a stay because the prejudice, the, the biggest prejudice would be on the EMSB if they had to start communicating in French with everybody who, even though both parties speak English. The second ruling addressed the EMSB's request to appeal the Superior Court decision that declared English language school boards to be school service centers this request was granted and will be heard by the Court of Appeal once the Superior Court has ruled on all EMSB challenges. We were confident that we were going to win. That's why we decided to appeal. I think the EMSB needs to retain a certain amount of control. It's, you know, it's a political school board. I mean, it's a very political, these school boards can be very political, but I think there's more of a democratic process within the school boards themselves. Seven other English school boards, as well as the Quebec English School Boards Association, have joined the EMSB's court challenge. The EMSB is challenging Bill 96 because they say it violates the English-speaking community's right to control and manage its educational institutions under Section 23 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The courts are demonstrating once again that, you know, we're not coming out of left field here. We're making reasonable arguments. Uh, we're winning in court uh, almost every single time. If, if you're keeping score, it's like 7-1 now uh, for the EMSB and the English school board. So uh, we'll get a decision when we get a decision, and I'm confident that uh, we'll be successful there. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.